episode då. Så du börjar. Hello everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. We are as always your hosts Arn and Carlos. And today it's the 18th 18th episode. Episode yes. and 21st 21st or block. Block. Yes. So uh, <laughs> welcome to our quarantine knitting podcast. We're very happy to still be able to do this. Uh, today is uh, Tuesday and we're going to continue doing the podcast until the end of this week. And after that, we have kind of done the four weeks of podcasting that we promised uh, and that we had to um, that we had to uh, postpone when I got sick. After May 1st, we are going to take a big break. I need to rest and recuperate. If you have just started tuning in, you may not know that I had uh, COVID-19 and I was very, very ill for quite some time. And now I am in the recovery process. Hmm. So you uh, need a break. I do. I need a, I need a break. So uh, our plan is to take a big break. I'm going to be on sick leave until earliest May 17th. And at one point, we plan on coming back with the uh, Quarantine Knitting podcast because we believe that people are going to be under lockdown for quite some time. Uh, and But we will be doing it twice a week instead of every day. Uh, because but, we have gardening to do. Yes. But we won't <laughs> announce any of this until we, uh, until we know more dates. Right now, uh, the focus is for me to recover. Yes. But anyway, we're here uh, enjoying uh, doing this podcast uh, for you guys. To entertain you while you are all under lockdown. We are no longer under lockdown here in Norway. No. But uh, at least but we, are we, we <laughs> stay voluntarily at home as much as we can. And we don't go out um, unless we have to. Uh, so are now. You're getting used to being at home. Yeah, we are, <laughs> it's yes. Like, it's strange to leave the house. Now. It's very strange. So we've been working, in, or I've been working in the garden. This was last mm -hmm. 24 hours. I'm making. Uh, I'm working on that stair. I think I talked about that. The, st the stair. The stairs down from the front porch. Oh yes, yes. And carrying rocks and stuff. And it's nice. I, I'm cleaning up some flower beds. Mm. And what more? Um, I do more than you actually because you you are so tired. So yeah. what have you done? You can start because... Well, the weather was good on Saturday and Sunday was okay. I spent some time outdoors relaxing in one of our sofas out on our deck and resting. And, um, mm. oh, I've done my laundry. You've done laundry. Yeah. I've done your laundry too. Yeah. Uh, and people might recognize <laughs> I'm wearing this uh, very infamous shirt that actually belongs to Arne. And I had to borrow it's it. It's not infamous. Famous. Well, it's a uh, beautiful shirt. It's a beautiful uh, shirt, but unfortunately, the birds on the shirt are dead. But if you're very sensitive, don't worry. Uh, no <laughs> birds uh, actually died uh, in the making of this shirt. It's a print. So, uh, yeah, it's a very bizarre print, but the colors are beautiful. But it's beautiful. But, mm, yeah. Anyway, we're, we're, we're sidetracking here. Yeah. Uh, I did my laundry and, uh, when I, and your laundry too, by the Thank way. Thank you. And when I uh, went to put on a shirt for the podcast, I realized that um, there were no more shirts in my side of the closet. Uh, <laughs> and I wanted a colorful <laughs> shirt, so I kind of borrowed yours. <laughs> I borrowed it before. I actually love this shirt. It's, it's, it's beautiful. This is mine, I think. Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. Uh, I guess it's the only one that was left after I stole <laughs> this one. Yeah. But yeah, I've, I've done laundry today, which is not a big task. You just grab all the clothes. Uh, yeah. Put it in the washing machine, press the button, and then you have to put it in the dryer. Currently, the laundry is in the machine. I need to put it in the dryer. That might take a few hours. And we also had our first uh, trip this year with the Beetle. Or I had it. You mm -hmm. didn't, because I had to go and get some stuff. Yep. And it was early this year. Yeah. So it was so nice to drive the Beetle again. Mm -hmm. And you went to the hardware store. Yeah. And yeah. what more happened? I saw a fox. Yeah, and I heard a sound. You said it was the sound of the fox when... when I think it was. It sounded like a pigeon to me. <laughs> no, a pigeon is different. Some people said it was a fox. I googled it, but I, there were so many strange The noises. sound of the, of the thing, whatever it was, <laughs> sounded to me like a bird, yeah. not a fox. 
And I didn't see the fox because I saw you it. saw it in the car when you were leaving the house. It was just the house. up the road from here. Mm. And I promise I will show you the book I talked about. Yeah. So this, this is the book, Powwow. Okay, so that's the book you're reading. That's the Norwegian title, and it's. And this uh, is the book you were talking about yesterday. Yeah, this is the book I was talking about, and it's. Um, oh, it was nominated to a, for a Pulitzer Prize. Pulitzer Prize, and it says uh, uh, it's among the ten best books in the New York Times. In New York Times, and his name is Tommy Orange, and he is. Um, he's born in 1982. And he is a member of the Chayan and the Arapaho. Do I say it right? Arapaho. Ar Arapaho. In Oakland. In Oakland. So it's a very interesting book. And uh, let me see. It's a lot of things I didn't know. And I, I, I like it. Oh, it's related to... Oh, cool. It's related to his tribes. Yeah, you should read it. If, if you get the book, you should read it. I don't know what the English title is. Well, probably Powwow. Or, you never know, they change these things in Norway. They do? Let me see. No, the oh. original title. There, uh, there. There, there. Ah, okay. And it came in 2018. Okay, there we go. So it's actually Tommy Orange, and the title is There, There. The Norwegian title is a Pow Wow. Pow Wow. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to read it's it a, after it's you. Good book. So Eric is uh, helping us out with our daily quarantine podcast. We send him all the stuff over to Oslo, uh, where he is uh, no, no longer in quarantine. And he's actually started to work quite a lot. Mm -hmm. He's gotten a lot of work now. Uh, but Did his daughter... Did you daughters, say that yesterday that it didn't work? No, but you said he was working. He was working now yeah. again. And his daughters uh, are in quarantine. So he's stuck with them. Oh. Because they're young, you know. They're not... So going, they're not back to school? No, schools are still closed. Oh, they are, yeah. Yeah, only daycare open. Daycare is open. So anyway, he's helping us. And I thought we could do a few posts from our uh, very popular Facebook group mm -hmm. uh, that I have chosen. And Arne hasn't seen them before. Um, so let's start with screenshot number one, which is from Debbie Lake. Uh, look at what Debbie did, Arne. That's nice. That's a double-knitted scarf. Yeah. That is really nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, fingering weight. What's so fingering weight? It's like, which it's like the sock yarn okay. from Regia, well, so, so it's, it's thinner. thinner, yeah. Uh, but it's nice. Uh, and then crochet, she's crocheted around the edges yeah. with a thicker yarn. Yeah. Because, of course, yeah, you it's need... Thick because it's double. Yeah, you need two layers, and then you need a thicker yarn yeah. to crochet that's, around. That's a beautiful scarf. Nice. Very nice. So yeah, love, Debbie. Love. Good work, Debbie. Nice to do uh, something different than the crochet uh, blanket or um, or cushion. And I'm sure you inspire a lot of people to do uh, other things. It was like Joke, Joke yeah. last week who did the project bag. Mm -hmm. And Joke actually uh, commented mm -hmm. that we had uh, featured her. her. She was very proud. Ah, cool. <laughs> and she explained that yes, she had uh, she had. Um, knitted them and yeah. not embroidered them. We couldn't see it because the yarn was white. And she said that she found the yarn in her stash. Yeah, and that uh, she thought of Delft Blue immediately, which is the association we also yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So good work, Yuke. It's good to get rid of some leftover yarn. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go to uh, screenshot number two, which is from uh, Norway, yeah. from Solveig Wilmsen in Bode. Hi, hi. Hey, Solveig. Hey, Solveig. Uh, here is her project. Yeah. Uh, she has finished uh, a reversible cushion. That's nice. 18 also. squares and only use scrap yards left over. So, yeah. Um, nice colors also. And she so she chose to have a dark side and a bright side. So one yeah. a black side and a white side, <laughs> which is really, really lovely. Huh? Oh, that's really Love nice. Love it. And and I like, look at the teddy bear. Yeah, teddy bear is super orange. cute. That was nice. And I like the patches, the love and the hug me later. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the lily. Yeah. It has red in the middle. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then you've got the Hug Me Later. It's my favorite one. It's actually what we call <laughs> this uh, knit along, Hug Me Later. Hug me later. later because uh, living in now is not as fun as looking forward to what will come once the virus is over. We're not hugging anybody now. I mean, even with our best friends, if we see them and we don't, but if we would, we would keep two meters distance, uh, <laughs> which is, or one meter at least. It's a like, strange time. Like this, you know, uh, even if we may be immune. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, because now is not fun. We look forward to later when we can, you know, when when this is all over 
and we can finally go back to living a normal life mm-hmm. again. Uh, so yeah, I love the Hug Me Later. It's my favorite patch. Nice. Okay, so let's go to uh, oh, screenshot number three, which I only selected because I love nice. the colors. It's from Jenny Webster. Well, is it knitted with all those colors? Yeah, she she writes that she decided a hippie flower needed more than two colors. <laughs> yeah. Find, well, found beautiful. it a bit of a challenge and not particularly neat, but enjoyed making it. it looks like something you can eat. I think it's beautiful, it's like Jenny. A candy. And if it's not neat, it's something you can see that I can't see. And I think it's good. Maybe the sides are a little bit fuzzy. That goes away. But that goes away it. when you sew the when you sew it with the other patches. I love the uh, the red or the pink, the dark pink on the inside of the flowers, mm. and then I love the, the 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 light light pink on the outer part of the flower, mm. and then I love it that you've put the pink or sorry the white. Uh, uh, to you know, to surround the flower and then the green. Fantastic! It reminds work. me of the Japanese candy we get when we go to Japan. It's stunning. You I, get those boxes with a lot of sugar. I love, love, love That's this. Nice. I think this must be, or this might be, one of my favorite of all the blocks and patches that we have seen. I might probably <laughs> say this is at least my top three. Mm. I love it. This Beautiful. is gorgeous, Jenny. Great job. Keep up the good work. I love to see some more of these blocks like that. But you all do of them in this. all of them. Do them all <laughs> like this. But you do write that it's a challenge, so yeah. maybe you might not want to. But it's it's great work, and it is really uh, top three for me for all the blocks that I've seen. How about you? That's beautiful. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna do one more. We're yeah. gonna do a screenshot number four. Uh, this time we've seen before. And this or... one we may have seen before. It's from Margaret Smith. Uh, but it's growing. If if we've seen yeah. it before, it's been growing, it's hasn't cross, it? Cross stitches. It's, yes, mm-hmm. it's I, I like it. Very beautiful. It's beautiful. And I like. And love, it's good to have a break from the knitting sometimes. Yes, it's so nice to I, see I embroidery. I totally agree. And I love that the hug me later is in the center, as it should be, because yeah. the, you know, the knit along is called hug me later after all. It <laughs> is the most important block that we designed. Did you decide that now or? What? Well, Hug Me Later is the name of it? No, it's been the name it's for been, weeks. It's been the name. You see, I've been totally... I'm like a goldfish. I'm so... We, we decided to call it Hug Me Later. <laughs> when we revealed the cushion, we actually revealed this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, anyway, this is the, like, this is the final... Uh, probably I've, I've been sick too. Yeah, you because have. Because I really don't... So this is the final screenshot from Margaret Could Smith. Could we put the, the screenshot of the pillow I am kind of pin just to show how it how I'll yeah we could uh, that will be screenshot number five yeah, like now yeah do you want to talk a little bit about it yeah because I just pinned the squares to the pillow and then the pillow is a 40 centimeter and 40 centimeter just to see how it looked on the pillow but then I decided to not make a pillow I will continue and I will make a blanket mm-hmm. and do you have anything to say about the I don't know. I mean, the look or the no. choice of colors or no, that's random. random. Yeah. Well, you chose a black to. I chose a black to make it more frame. Mm. And if you're wondering about the tutorial, it was in the podcast that we did on Friday, which is podcast number sixteen. Yeah. Go to podcast number sixteen and do the tutorial. Now we're going to show you uh, a UFO. Pro- a no, project. this is not a UFO. Now we're going to the knitting part huh? yeah. because we. I found something I worked on for a long time, a long time ago. It's uh, well, this one you can't. You see. can see it in front of you. It's a knitted pool. It's, it's one of our the toys we're making. Hello, and it's, it's got pom poms because I had all. It's got pom poms and it's got a tail. Yeah. Look at that. Because I, ha- I have an old book about poodles, and then that inspired me pom-pom when tail. I saw all the different poodles. And then it's got pom pom. But this is easier to see. Yeah, that's much easier. This is another style. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they have different pong pongs. If you see that in front of your shirt, he yeah. has the. I think that's more the German style. I think it's called the lion clip. Uh, this is uh, more like. I think that's the British clip or something. I don't know. This is more like what Freya looks like when she comes from the hairdresser. Well, except she doesn't have pong pongs. Not pong pong, but yeah. And 
So this is another project and I'm working on the gray one because it's so fun to make poodles in different colors. So maybe we should post mm. the pattern because I have the pattern in Norwegian. I just have to translate yeah, it. Yeah, we should, yeah. And these are fun. I mean, you've done these and then you've kind of inserted them. They're loose, right? No. No? I have to make, we have to do a tutorial on it. Oh, okay. It's a trick. It's a secret. It's a secret. Ah, secret. Sorry. Well, that one is maybe loose. It's loose. Yeah. But I'm, they're not loose anymore. Ah, okay. <laughs> the gray one has, is not loose. Mm. Anyway, this is the project of today. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Freya, Freya. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, did you really think I was no, going to throw it away? No, you never know. Well, Freya would have eaten it up yeah. for sure. And I guess it's time to do yeah, the... Yeah, the new block. The block of the day. Mm -hmm. It's the big bird. Or... Actually, you said you should talk about something. Yeah, it's, shall we call it the big bird or the early bird? Or the early bird. It's the, it's a, this is an old bird and I just made it bigger. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a bit, but a lot of people, let's call it the early bird. The early bird. Um, oh, it matches your bird yeah, shirt. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Or my bird shirt. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people though, uh, so the early bird is patch number uh, 21. Uh, a lot of people, though, they are asking us all the time, that, you know, to show the backside. We don't understand why, because you're going to, you know, if you do a cushion, the backside's going to disappear. If you do a blanket and you do them in, in double crochet, oh, sorry, in double knitting, uh, you're not going to see the backside. Or maybe and you, if you line do, the blanket. If yeah, you if you do the back blanket in singles like these, you're going to line the blanket so there's no need to see the back side, you know, just as long as the front side is neat, mm -hmm. the back side can look whatever way you want. But you can show the back side. But we're going to show the back side now. Because what's important is we're not having the long floats. So we're carrying the yarn and it can go over or under, it makes no difference. I know there's a lot of people who say you should always carry it one way, but we don't do that because you can't see the difference on the front when it's steamed. And finished yeah so here is so it's just we have no more than three stitches yeah. in between the colors or so like on this on this part we carry the yarn all the way to the end and we knit two together mm. at the end to make it make it more easy to knit back and forth sometimes the the blue shine through a little bit like you see it through but it goes more or less away Mm -hmm. And if we show it shows a little bit, I don't care. No, it's okay. <laughs> There's no real, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, don't. I think a lot of people want to see it because they think they're doing it the wrong way. Uh, but we're not doing that like the. Is it what, what you say when you knit back and forth and have the, the, all the bobs hanging or the yarn hanging oh, in tarsia. tarsia? We don't doing the tarsia because we we stay with one style on each. Because if you do this one with tarsia, it gets looser. Mm. It it will stretch more. So that's why we do normal color work. Even if there's a lot of green on this one, we do normal color work by mm. carrying the yarn and knitting both colors together in yeah. the end. So catch the floats uh, on every third stitch or fourth, no three, more than and then you carry yeah, and three every and third four. and then the fourth one you carry or you you twist it or whatever you want to do, and you'll be fine. Don't worry about what the backside looks. Nobody's gonna see it. But you so, don't want to have long floats because then it's harder to get even tension. Yeah. Or if you want, you can have it, but we don't do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, early bird because uh, right now Knit Stars has just uh, released uh, or opened sales for early bird uh, for Knit Stars number five, and uh, you may have done Knit Stars before, and I think that uh, right now in this current time that we're living in, uh, where we're all social distancing, I think it's great that Knit Stars is is open now because uh, it's all done, you know, through video. Mm -hmm. And it's great. I mean, there's always 10 new fabulous instructors and there's lots to learn. Uh, and there's also connection with other people because there's a Facebook group and I don't know what. There's loads of things. And then you can watch this or participate in this event uh, in the comfort of your living room, which I think is really great. So, like this. Like this. So you don't need to travel <laughs> or anything. And Knit Stars 5 is out now, uh, early bird. 
Uh, and also the other seasons, one, two, three, the three is the best, obviously, four of uh, are also available. Three, season three is the best because we were in it, Yeah, I guess. That puts an early bird up. Yeah. So anyway, um, you should sign up for Stars if you, uh, if you have done it before and uh, you enjoyed it or if you want to try it. Um, it's all done by video. You own the, the courses after you purchase it. And uh, if you want to sign up for the early bird, click on our link because we do get a small commission. Uh, so it's a great <laughs> way for you guys to support us and in we these need the money. difficult times. Like you know, times are hard. So uh, what you do if you're interested in it stars is you go here. Whoops. In the comments field, we're going to post the link on top. Uh, so click on the link uh, in the description of this podcast or click on the link on the top comment. And it will take you to Knitstar's uh, page, and you can, you know, read about it there. Or you can get it through our blog. You can go through our website. You can go through uh, Instagram. There are links everywhere. And if you click on our link, uh, you do support us, uh, which is good if you want to support us, I guess. If you want to support someone else, you have to click on their link. So that's... Yeah, but see, that's the news. You can make a sweater. Oh, a patchwork sweater. Are you changing the subject? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> You're just coming up with new ideas. I just listen to you and then I, I, I get ideas. Yeah. Well, I think Sorry. it's... Well, no, no. I'm, I was just wondering if you because were just... I don't know all these things. It's so technical and I don't know it. And well, but you've seen... You've watched Knit Stars. I watched... Yes, Some, you have. Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, not yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah, so. But still, I don't know how things work. No, neither do I. <laughs> I just uh, do what I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> and you do it so good. Yeah. yeah. So we want to so, thank everybody. I mean, you've been tremendous support to us uh, in these uh, weeks since uh, the middle of May. No, sorry, the middle of March. It's been... Uh, Fantastic, all the support that we've been getting from you guys. Uh, but we're uh, back tomorrow. Of course we are. Oh, I yeah. still want to thank people. I mean, okay. talking about support, it's been it's been fantastic, the support we've been getting for a month and a half now while in quarantine and during my illness. And mm -hmm. We feel like we're doing this together with you. We really feel like a tight community. And we're very grateful about it. What are you doing now? <laughs> it's bad to have the camera. Like, yeah. we could... I, can see how yeah you can yeah. see how your hair needs a haircut yeah maybe I should try my hand on, do that. on no that. no mm -hmm. you flattened it out and made like <laughs> yeah no yeah. I hope we we hope our, our hairdresser uh, come comes back soon so, anyway knit um, the bird. anyway knit the bird it's the early bird that catches the worm remember there's an early bird at knit stars as well um, it's open until March no we're in May 3rd so April 26 uh, was the first day of sales. Today we are 28. Mm -hmm. And it goes through to May 3rd. You can get Knit Stars until May 3rd. And then it closes for good. No, not for good. It closes and then you may be able to get it again in the summer uh, or in the fall. I don't know. But anyway, right now... <laughs> See, you're not so... You know. No, I, but, but I, know that the, I know that they have huge discounts because of the world situation. They're trying to get more people to do this because it's, it's, it's all done in the comfort of your living room. So go get that if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go rest. I am feeling much better mm -hmm. now, but I'm still, once I focus for half an hour, I get really tired. So I need to go grab myself a nap. So um, what are you going to do? I'm going to say thank you for watching. And um, if you like the video, put your thumbs up and if not down and remember to put on your notification because then you get a message every time there's a new video and please subscribe and see you tomorrow and by the way, what we heard last night was a fox. It was I a decided bird. it's not. Tomorrow we it's will. It's not a bird. It was a fox. <laughs> No, sorry, it was a bird. <laughs> <laughs> it was this one. <laughs> it was a bird. It was not a fox. And tomorrow we will also make some revelations on Porridge Gate. There has been some activity there. Uh, all of that you can oh, catch yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. So what are you going to do now? 
I'm going to the garden. I'm going to go have a rest. Yeah. I put my poodles back. Sure.